Hi everyone and welcome back to designing a website in Figma. You are watching episode number 7 and in today's video we are going to create the FAQ or frequently asked questions section on our new fictional website. This video is a part of designing a website in Figma series and if you check the description below you will find a link to a playlist where all of these videos are compiled. Now what is worth repeating from previous tutorials is that we are choosing a so-called component-based approach. So as you can see we have a bunch of components here on the right side and then we use instances of these components to create our website design. The reason we are doing this is because it provides us with easy object management and also helps us to maintain consistency across our website. And this video is going to be no different, which means I'm going to start with creating an accordion component that we will then reuse multiple times. To start, I'm going to use my text tool by pressing T on my keyboard and then I'm going to click once and I'm going to type in accordion. accordion. Maybe I'm going to specify that this is going to be for FAQs. Right Now I'm going to duplicate this object and let's just keep in mind that the overall section, the FAQ section, is going to be H2, the second most important headline on our website. And to observe the headline hierarchy that we have established, I'm going to choose H3 for our accordion uh, headline. Right, So we're going to have the section headline and then single accordion headline. I'm going to duplicate this text object and change that to paragraph text. Then I'm gonna type in to this text object, this is an answer to a frequently asked question. So I wrote down a couple of sentences and then I'm gonna shrink this text object to about this size. Just to reiterate, this is the H3 headline and this is the paragraph text or also body text. And if you're wondering how to get these text styles, make sure to check previous videos in this series. And what we need now is a button that will expand our accordions. We don't have anything right now, we have to create such a component. And I'm gonna use the button component that we have specified previously as a guide. And I'm going to detach this component by pressing Command Option B. And you can see that it turned blue from purple. And this means I can now modify the contents of this component. Well, it's not a component um, anymore, but you get my point, right? I am going to take my pen tool and create an arrow like this. It's very easy. It's twice as wide as it is tall. So let's go for around 10 by 5 and make it white. And let's just try and match the thickness of the line of this arrow with the text so that we get a consistent uh, button style, right? This means I'm gonna go for about two or three in terms of stroke width, right? And next thing I'm gonna do is remove this text object from the button auto layout, take this arrow, press Command X and Command V into this button. And just to be really consistent with the rest of the buttons, I'm going to also maintain the height, which in this case is going to be 50 or 49. So let's just set vertical resizing to fixed and let's just do 49 and maybe the width also 49 or it would maybe make more sense to turn the height value to 50. So we have a button that is 50 by 50, right? And then we're gonna go for full rounding, which means at least 25, uh, so that we get basically a circle. And then maybe we wanna, you know, make this arrow bigger, like 20 by 10. We'll just have to experiment and see what works best. But I think about this size, I think that's gonna work best, right? Maybe increase the line thickness to three. And yeah, this is going to be our accordion button. I'm going to turn this into a component and then I'm going to call this component button dropdown, right? Because this button is not a regular button. It's a button that uh, serves as an icon to do some kind of drop down or just move downwards in any way. So I'm going to just to maintain consistency, I'm going to place this new component right next to our button component, right at the very top, right? So here we have the more basic components and here we have the more complicated ones, as you can see the call to action section. And then I'm going to go to assets and under button dropdown, I'm going to use that right here, right? So 
we're gonna use this in our accordion. So now that I have this accordion headline, accordion button, and also accordion description, I'm going to select these two and press Shift A. Then I'm going to select the headline and set that to fill container. And also on the whole auto layout, the spacing is going to be 24. I'm going to rename this auto layout by pressing Command R on our keyboard. And then I have to do that again. So Command R, and then I'm gonna type in headline plus button. Of course, this is now going to be responsive like this, which is great. So this is the behavior that we will get. And now I'm going to use my pen tool by pressing P and then clicking here, holding shift and then click here again. This is going to create a line. Uh, this line is going to be probably one pixel wide and then I'm going to select this auto layout, this uh, divider, this line, and then this text and press Shift A to create one big auto layout and then rename this auto layout to accordion. So this auto layout is going to become our accordion and we have to set these both elements, both these elements, the vector two that serves as a divider as well as the description text to fill container so that now when we do this, we get a responsive behavior. And as you can see, we forgot to set the headline plus button auto layout to fill container as well so that now we get this right we are very close this is almost a finished accordion so the spacing will be 24 right i think that's that works best and also we're gonna get some padding let's just start with 24 and test how this looks maybe we want to also go for a background like a white very simple background, right? So as you can see, this is kind of becoming the good old accordion that you see on a lot of websites. I'm going to also round these corners. I'm gonna probably go for 16 or 20. Let's go for 16. And then I'm going to also rename this divider to divider and make it a bit more transparent so that it isn't as prominent, right? So this is the result that we have right now. Awesome, so what needs to happen now is actually we have to create a component from this and to create a component from this I'm going to select this and click this button or press option command key. So option command key and this is now an accordion component that is still responsive. I will, because we will have two states, right? The accordion can be closed and it can also be open. I'm going to create another state for this component, another variant. And this variant is gonna be called open, while the first one is going to be called close. And also, if I select this whole component, the property, we're gonna change that to state, right? So we're gonna have a, a component called accordion with two states, and that's gonna be closed and open. Now, if you have watched my previous videos in this series, I'm using component properties to easily enable editing of any text or easy manipulation with uh, the overall, like uh, the instance of the component that we use. And I'm going to use the same workflow here as well. So I'm gonna select by like, command clicking this headline and then command shift and select this headline as well. Go to content over here and I'm going to create a new component property and it's going to be called accordion headline, enter. And then I'm going to do the same with this text object. So command click, command shift click. The second one, content, create property, accordion description. And also, I think I'm gonna change this state, uh, the state of this component to no and this one to yes. You will soon see why. The reason why I'm doing this is when I use an instance of this component, I get this switcher, this toggle button right here, and then also, as you can see, these um, component properties where I can change the headline and the description as well. So that's why I have used um, the yes and no, because Figma is then going to translate that to a toggle button. I think Figma, when, when Figma sees yes and no states, I think it's gonna automatically create this toggle button, right? Most importantly, this closed accordion is not 
closed at all. And we are going to fix that by closing it, essentially. And because this is an auto layout, the only thing we have to do is select the divider and then select the text, right? So command click and then command shift click and hide these layers, right? So as you can see, the auto layout, since it's set to hug, it's going to close for us. So when I now use an instance of this component and keep doing this, you can see how it's being open and closing, right? And additionally, you are not going to get the arrow pointing down when the accordion is actually open. So let me rotate this 180 degrees so that we get this situation, right? When I go back and forth, I mean, this makes more sense, right? This is great and everything, but uh, if we actually use this in our prototype, right let me show you if i place that right here onto our website canvas then let me launch the prototype when i now click the accordion nothing happens and i want you to think about why nothing is happening and i think the answer is quite straightforward and the reason is we didn't define any interaction right so figma has no idea what we are trying to do here it just sees two versions of a component it doesn't realize that it actually that we actually want this accordion to react to our clicking so we have to define that interaction and i'm going to do that by selecting the headline plus button auto layout then i'm going to go to prototype and i'm going to connect this to the second variant so that i get this right so on click change to state on or also expand it. This is going to be smart animate and it's going to take 250 milliseconds. So that's the interaction going from the closed one to the open one. And then we also need the other way around. So let me select this headline plus button auto layout again in the second state and connect that back to the first state. On click, change to state closed. Smart animate is out to 50 milliseconds. So now when I go back to our prototype, this is what I get, right? You can see how nicely this is rotating uh, and also it's expanding, but we actually cannot see it because the background is white. If I change the background to gray, you're gonna see the difference. Let me do this for you, right? So you can see if I change actually the background, if I differentiate that, then we get this behavior, which is very nice. But for now, I'm gonna change this to white, I think. Right? I think it's, I like the minimalist look, so I'm gonna keep it uh, like this for now. Right, and this means that there is gonna be multiple, there's gonna be multiple, definitely multiple frequently asked questions. So let me first of all enable the guides. So I'm gonna press Command, uh, sorry, Shift G, this is going to turn on our 12 column grid system and I'm going to drag this out to take 10 columns in the middle. So we get the first accordion, second one, third one and maybe fourth and fifth. And then what I'm going to do is select all of these, press Shift A and then set the spacing to... Actually, I think we could keep this at zero for now or some kind of small spacing like 16 or 12 right and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the first accordion and change the accordion headline to well first of all i'm gonna press enter open all of these and as you can see since we have auto layout and this is going to move all of them right it's going to adjust the total height of this auto layout this auto layout is by the way going to be called accordions and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go one by one and specify my headline, right? So now at this point, you'd probably be putting in some real copy, but we're just gonna go for placeholders and I'm gonna type in headline one and one at the beginning of the description, just to be able to differentiate, right? And two with the second one, just to be able to differentiate uh, individual accordions and to show you that you can use component properties to define your own versions of, um, of these texts, right? So in five. Now let me close these, all of these back. And one small design change, I think I'm gonna go again to accordion over here, add a stroke, and this stroke is gonna be black, but it's going to be like 20% maybe. I'm also gonna hide the fill so that we get this nice outline accordion. 
And then uh, since there is no change happening right here, we probably did some kind of override and we have to revert this override, but we don't want to revert the text override, which is the text that we have specified right here. Rather, we just want to reset stroke, reset stroke. So now you can see it's being reflected in our design and this is what we get. So, right, this is the prototype. So let me actually test this. I'm gonna click the first one, second one, and third one. And as you can see, we get headline one, two, and three, and answer one, two, and three. I can also close these and we get this nice interactive section where these accordions that are lying below, they are being moved by those that are opened above them, right? If I open the first one, you can see how all of these move. That is because we have specified this as auto layout, right? And this means that one final change that we have to do is just take this headline, type in frequently, frequently asked questions, parentheses, FAQs, and just take this, put that right here, select both of these, shift A to create auto layout, 48 in the spacing, make sure this is centered to center and top. And by the way, we are then going to be adjusting the whole page into a one giant auto layout. So this positioning, that's just for now. Uh, we're gonna make this proper, a proper auto layout, this whole thing, right? With this selected frame four, I'm going to rename this to accordion section contents and then press shift A again and rename this to accordion section. And this accordion section is going to have no padding, no padding and no spacing. It's going to be 1440 pixels wide as the whole screen is going to be centered then it's going to be glued all the way to the bottom of its call to action it's going to be in the background so that's why i'm going to press command option left bracket and actually sorry about that this is going to have a 96 vertical padding so that we get this right here and then i'm also going to make sure that this accordion section contents are set to mixed width the accordions all the way out is set to fill container and this thing is set to fill container as well and it is centered so now when i adjust this section it's responsive and it isn't so we made a mistake somewhere which means probably these accordions so let me select let me select these accordions directly and then fill container and this is going to happen brilliant then let me again select the accordion section contents and then just drag it out all the way to span 10 columns so you don't really have to do all of this that i just did i'm just trying to be consistent with the rest of the sections the main thing is to create your accordions like this so that they are responsive and interactive right they are responsive and they are also interactive because we specified this interaction right here with smart animate and then also we stacked all of these into into an auto layout called accordions so that we get this behavior this uh, nice behavior just as a regular page and then we used component properties to be easily able to specify headlines and description to this instance of an accordion and yeah that's it that's how you create an interactive faq section in figma as you can see i turned off the stroke right here let me redo this again so menu reset stroke and then we get this right so again very simple very minimalist design in the upcoming episodes we might actually put some more attention to like uh, the visual style of the page we're gonna you know work on these icons right here and we're just gonna make sure this whole website looks nice so yeah that's it if you have any questions regarding what we just did let me know in the comments below leave a like if this video helped you and I will see you in the next episode of designing a website in Figma. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.